Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I am gonna be talking about the progesterone phase, what to expect. I was actually supposed to do this video last week, but I got so excited about protein, I just started talking about protein. So here we go, talking about the progesterone phase, what to expect from your system. Let me move this light really quick so it's not weird glary there, so you can maybe see this a little bit better. Progesterone phase, right? Again, I use that phrase because most people are familiar with it versus like follicular and luteal and lola. Like what? No. Progesterone phase is when progesterone is higher. It stays 15 through 28 of your cycle. Now, this is a phase where this is after you ovulate, you or you should be ovulating. And during days 15 through 28, 15, 16, 17, 18, right? The progesterone really starts to rise and it hits this peak right around days, you know, maybe 21, 23, something like that. So you may notice the full effect of it. And then after that, your system just changes completely as you move into the full week before your period starts, which is kind of full PM, MS, PMS mode, which some people have a really tough time with. So when we're looking at this progesterone phase here, Things that are going to shift and change with your body and system are going to be that your weight was going to be increasing. You, you hold more fluid. You have more blood volume. It's just your weight goes up, right? So if you're trying to weigh yourself week to week, right, and compare against the previous week, total wrong way to do it. Your body is, you will weigh more, not because you're getting fatter, but your, your uterus grows twice the size now. You have more stuff in your system. Of course it's going to be more weight. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, your energy is also going to decrease. You may feel like you start with the same energy, but it might wait out during the day. Your system uses energy differently here. Your sleep can also be more disturbed. Your sleep can be more terrible, honestly. So here's the thing with the sleep is that progesterone actually can cause some ins um, insomnia issues, sleep disturbances, that type of a thing where your sleep just isn't naturally as easy to come by. This is where having a sleep routine is key. Certain things to trigger your body, train your body to sleep better. You can train your body to sleep better. And that's going to be really helpful when you're in this phase. Your digestion downshifts. You do not digest at the same rate as you did before right? Your body does this because it's trying to hold on to and really extract every single nutrient possible from the food that you're eating. So keep that in mind. Your metabolism is also going to slow down. So, I mean, not a ton, right? But it is a big factor in, in taking into account. It also decreases how easy it is to build muscle. You can maintain your muscle pretty well here as long as you're doing the right things nutritionally. Um, which, you know, things that I, I do mention in my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon. Um, I talk all about eating for hormones and cycle in here. Female Menopause Solution on Amazon as well. This also really caters to women in menopause. When you're in menopause, it seems very similar to the progesterone phase. Very, very similar. But it, that muscle building is a really, really tough one to fight with. Mm because that's a big key for burning more calorie throughout the day, getting your system just totally revamped. Um, and then your basal body temperature does go up. So it should go up and it should stay up. After you ovulate, your basal body temperature should rise and stay higher the entire time, the entire time. If it doesn't, that tells you that there's an issue with your progesterone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if, especially if you're working on fertility things, this is key to focus on. It's key to really shift your nutrition and take care of this phase of your cycle because this is so important for fertility. Without this, you can't have good fertility. So that basal body temperature is so, so important to track and monitor. So that's what I got for you guys today. Again, if you are not on my wait list for the 12-week challenge, I dive even more into this. If you're looking at more fat-burning techniques, even though you're in the progesterone phase, you're going to find them on the wait list. So in the comments below, you can click the link, get on the wait list. I have some super fun stuff coming up that I'll be announcing next week. I'm not going to say it too soon. Um, but if you are not on, if you are on the wait list too, you will get notified right away when all these exciting things drop, but I cannot wait to share them with you. Um, but I'm always here as a resource for you besides books and everything else. I have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy, just to give you more info and then podcast the female health solution again, to give you more of an inside look on things you can do for your own health. All right. That's what I got for you today. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you later.